Uh, good morning, folks. Meteorologist Jim Howard here with you on this Tuesday morning. The date is May 21st. This is your latest WITN first alert forecast. Uh, early fog, patchy fog as you head out this morning. Uh, that'll evaporate off and we'll have a generally sunny sky as we go through the day. Uh, more blue than gray. High near 80 this afternoon. Yesterday we had about 77, add 3, 4 degrees to that, 80, 81 this afternoon. Cool start, warm finish, and the wind's light northeast at about 5 or so. That'll cover us. Satellite radar, stray raindrop well offshore and staying out there. Uh, this is some fog building in over the sounds towards the coast and trying to ease inland. This is the visibility. This was back at about 4.35 a.m. Pockets of fog. These are a miles, half mile, uh, give or take on the visibilities back towards the coast. Inland doing okay, but patchy fog developing here as well. So keep that in mind. As you head out early on this Tuesday morning, uh, give yourself a little extra time. Uh, have to slow down a little bit for some of that fog. Be safe on the roads. Air temps, jacket worthy, <clears throat> excuse me, generally mid 50s. As you head out, even an isolated low 50 to the north, we may get a stray upper 40 on this map by sunrise. This is back again at 430 AM. Uh, mid to upper 50s, beaches around 60 as you head out. And again, not much wind, nearly calm out there. A little northeast flow at about 5 to 10. That'll cover us easterly to southeast late day into the day tomorrow. And that turn a little more to the uh, south tomorrow gets us even warmer and muggy here tomorrow. That humidity continues to creep up through the week, folks. Uh, not a strong wind tomorrow, but southerly at about 5 to 10. So take that 80 today, add another 5 to it, 85, 86 tomorrow afternoon. <coughs> Excuse me, no rain in the forecast, just a few clouds afternoon hours. Looks good. A ridge of high pressure uh, keeping us looking nice. Uh, storm back to the west. This guy will be sparking off big storms the next several days uh, west of us, west and north of us. We're going to be fine. Uh, generally through at least Thursday, the way it looks right now. Here's Wednesday, all quiet on the map. Uh, again, afternoon hours, mostly sunny skies with mid 80s. You can see those storms lined up to the west. Front eases its way towards the coast this weekend. Here's Thursday morning, good. Thursday afternoon, good. Uh, showers and storms west and north of us. Get you into Friday, maybe a stray morning shower. I think a better chance Friday into the afternoon, evening, about 30% or so. This frontal boundary sags in towards the area over the weekend and now bring the rain chances up a little more. Take a look. Uh, there's Saturday morning into the afternoon. I think a little better coverage of rain there Saturday post lunchtime evening hours and again some rumbles of thunder as well. All right, severe storm risk today. Got that enhanced to a moderate risk. Iowa and the portions of Illinois, big outbreak of severe weather. Uh, slight risk extends all the way down into Texas. Tomorrow shifts a little further to the east from western New York all the way down to Dallas. Then we get in towards Thursday. Notice a little uh, low end risk north of us. We're still good Thursday. I think Friday we may get into that marginal risk here in eastern Carolina. Uh, still the uh, higher risk staying back to the west. The next several days. All right, eight day forecast at 80 today, mid 80s tomorrow, 90 Thursday and Friday. The heat builds uh, patchy fog the next couple of mornings out there. Friday, uh, mid to late afternoon, 30% storm chance. Saturday, better coverage, 50%. Maybe a little dip Sunday to 30, back to 40 for Memorial Day, Tuesday. Generally, you look at this uh, forecast, the holiday weekend, about a 40% chance of primarily a scattered afternoon storms primarily and muggy mid 80s each afternoon lows in the mid 60s.